Welcome to Marrakesh. So today I'm just going to show you around some riads, the areas that we walk to get to the riad and the riad that we are staying in. It's going to be something different. If you're not a frequent traveler or if you're not an adventurous traveler, just be open-minded because once you're here, it's an amazing, amazing place. I shall take this so you can see me. My skin is glowing. I feel nourished. The sun is loving me. Uh, Come with me. I can feel all the fire rising. I'll handle with care. Hello, everybody. Today is day two in Marrakesh. I'm not sure how this vlog style is going to go whether I'm going to be showing you one bit at a time or it's going to be continuous stuff but I know there are people like me that are not regular travelers who also want to hear from people that are not as regular travelers such as me so I'm in Morocco in Marrakesh for the next four days and from here I move on to Casablanca uh, we're staying in a Riyadh in a Medina the only thing that I'm going to say is it's a very busy place I mean staying here you have to be made of steel like you have to have nerves of steel because it's really really busy not in the Riyadh the Riyadh are very nice and peaceful I'm just going to give you a 365 view of where I am I'm staying at a place called the Riyadh the Riyadh I'm going to give you a full tour of the place because they told me that in an hour's time they'll be able to give me a full tour of the place and then I'll take you outside around it as well so you have a good idea I have a son with autism everybody knows that and everybody has been so friendly with us at the moment so people are just helping us left right and center so it's a very disability friendly place however if you have a physical disability wheelchair chairs and the like the Medina which is an area of where we're staying that is the central part of Morocco is extremely extremely difficult to get around because of the bikes the donkeys you name it everything moves along in the same street and they are very old streets so I would um, be careful about that go and stay somewhere else the place is generally really friendly to disabled people I, I am saying but I'm not sure about accessibility to things that might be a problem okay this is the 365 view of where I'm staying at the Riyadh, the Riyadh. I 
Hey friends, today we are still in the Medina in Marrakesh and we are at the Secret Gardens, what are also called Le Chard in French. I don't know if I've just reached that. Let's take you along with me. So these secret gardens date to about 400 years ago. They date back to the Sardin dynasty, rebuilt in the mid 19th century and at the behest of an inf influential Kiad of the Atlas Mountains. It's a beautiful, beautiful garden that I think lots of people are not yet coming to the way that people go to the Yves Saint Gardens. However, if you are here, definitely check it out. It's much quieter, it's much nicer, it's much more peaceful. And it actually gives you a lot of... Um, It gives you a lot of inspiration on what to do with your own home if you like this Moroccan slash Arabian influence. Uh, let me just read for you the history about this place which is written on their website where you can go and see it for yourself. The origins of the La Jardim secret hack back to the second half of the 16th century when the Sadian Sultan, oh god I can say this name, Abd al commenced upon the urbanization of what is now the Mosun district. However, in common with many important buildings in Marrakesh, the palace, which stood on the grounds of La Jardin Secret, was destroyed towards the end of the 17th century after the decline of the Sardin dynasty towards the middle of the 19th century. The Qiyad al Hajj Abd al you be he came into possession of the land on which fully respecting the lay layout of the sardin era complex a new palace was built marrakesh enjoyed a substantial development in this period which favored the construction of the gardens and rich mansions
dream with me Let your mind explore All the things we were created for Possibilities and open door That keeps us reaching out So we're on the rooftop, roof, I can't speak, a rooftop garden. Let me take the glasses off because I think it's a bit rude. Rooftop, I've just seen some dates. Let me show you dates when they're fresh and before anything happens to them. And it's a stunning view of the rooftop. I don't know if you can see it around. We just point to the date. It's already rolling. Okay. 